Have you ever wondered what would happen if a nuclear bomb was detonated in the Mariana Trench? This question might seem far-fetched, yet it's one that tickles the curiosity of many. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of our world's oceans, and nuclear bombs, the epitome of human destructive power, a peculiar pairing, wouldn't you say? But what if they were to meet in a cataclysmic event? Today we dive deep into the science behind this fascinating albeit terrifying scenario. First, to understand the potential impact, we need to understand nuclear explosions. At the heart of these immensely powerful blasts is a process known as nuclear fission. This process starts with a heavy nucleus like uranium or plutonium which gets hit by a neutron. This collision causes the heavy nucleus to split into two smaller nuclei, releasing a great deal of energy in the process. This energy then triggers the fission of other nuclei, creating a chain reaction that culminates in a massive explosion. Now, you might wonder, just how powerful are these explosions? To put it in perspective, the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II, known as Little Boy, had an energy yield equivalent to about 15,000 tons of TNT. And that's just a fraction of the destructive power of modern nuclear weapons. There are two main types of nuclear weapons, atomic bombs and hydrogen bombs. Atomic bombs, like Little Boy, rely solely on fission for their explosive power. Hydrogen bombs, on the other hand, utilize both fission and a process called fusion, where light nuclei combine to form heavier ones, releasing even more energy. This makes hydrogen bombs significantly more powerful than atomic bombs. For instance, the Tsar Bomba, the largest hydrogen bomb ever detonated, had an energy yield equivalent to about 50 million tons of TNT. That's over 3,000 times more powerful than Little Boy. The destructive power of nuclear weapons doesn't just come from the initial blast though, it also comes from the intense heat and radiation they release, which can cause widespread damage and loss of life. Then there's the fallout, the radioactive particles that get thrown into the atmosphere and can contaminate large areas for years, even decades after the explosion. Now that we have a basic understanding of nuclear explosions, let's explore the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's oceans, is a place of darkness and pressure. This vast underwater abyss, reaching depths of over 36,000 feet, is home to a world that remains largely unexplored and unknown. The pressure here is over a thousand times greater than at sea level. And light from the sun is a stranger in these depths. Life in the Mariana Trench is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of nature. Creatures that dwell here have evolved to survive and thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life. These organisms, some of which are so alien they could have come from another planet, exist in a state of perpetual darkness under pressures that could crush a submarine. The Mariana Trench is so deep that even if you could somehow drop Mount Everest into it, the peak would still be more than a mile underwater. Its lowest point, known as the Challenger Deep, is a staggering seven miles beneath the surface of the ocean. To put that into perspective, if you were to drop a steel ball into the trench, it would take over an hour to reach the bottom. The species that inhabit this trench are unique, adapted to survive the intense pressure, the freezing temperatures, and the lack of sunlight. They include creatures like the fangtooth fish, with its long, needle-like teeth and disproportionately large mouth, or the giant amphipod, a crustacean that can grow up to a foot long. These creatures are not only fascinating examples of life's adaptability, but also vital pieces of the puzzle as we seek to understand our planet's oceans. So, we have a nuclear bomb and the world's deepest trench. What happens when they meet? Imagine a nuclear bomb detonating in the Mariana Trench. What would the result look like? Let's dive into the depths of this hypothetical scenario. First, we must consider the unique conditions of the Mariana Trench. This incredible trench is the deepest point in all of Earth's oceans, reaching a depth of over 36,000 feet. At this depth, the pressure is over a thousand times greater than at sea level. This extreme pressure would significantly influence the nuclear explosion. When a nuclear bomb detonates, it releases a massive amount of energy in the form of light, heat, and a shockwave. However, under the crushing pressure of the Mariana Trench, the shockwave would behave differently than it would above ground. The water pressure would confine the explosion, causing it to be more compact and less destructive over a wide area. In fact, due to the deep depth and the immense pressure, the explosion might not even reach the ocean's surface. 
Now let's talk about radiation. One might expect a nuclear detonation to result in a massive release of radioactive material into the ocean. However, the reality might be less catastrophic than you'd think. The water in the ocean, particularly at the depths of the Mariana Trench, would act as a natural barrier, absorbing the radiation and preventing it from spreading widely. While there would certainly be localized contamination, the majority of the ocean and its inhabitants would likely remain unharmed. But what about tsunamis? Could a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench trigger a devastating tsunami? Again, the answer might surprise you. While an explosion at such a depth would certainly create a disturbance, it is unlikely to cause a large tsunami. This is because tsunamis are typically caused by movements of the ocean floor, such as those seen in earthquakes or landslides. A nuclear explosion, even one as powerful as a hydrogen bomb, would not displace enough water or cause enough movement of the ocean floor to generate a significant tsunami. It's important to note, however, that while the immediate large-scale impacts of such an explosion might be less than one might intuitively expect, there would still be serious consequences. The localized radiation could harm or kill nearby marine life and create an ecological disaster. Additionally, the political, social, and legal repercussions of such an act would be enormous. While this scenario is purely hypothetical, it provides a fascinating look at the power of nuclear energy and the resilience of our oceans. It's a reminder that even as we harness the immense power of the atom, we must always respect and protect the natural world around us. After all, the depths of the ocean are not just a distant, unexplored frontier, but a vital part of our planet's intricate and delicate balance. While detonating a nuclear bomb in the Mariana Trench would undoubtedly have devastating effects, it's important to remember that this is purely a hypothetical scenario. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discussed today. We started by delving into the mechanics of nuclear explosions. We've learned that these powerful blasts can generate energy equivalent to millions of tons of TNT, creating shock waves, intense heat, and deadly radiation. From there, we plunged into the depths of the Mariana Trench the deepest part of the world's oceans. We've discovered that this mysterious abyss is home to unique life forms and extreme conditions, including crushing pressures and chilly temperatures. It's a place that's as alien to us as the surface of another planet, yet it's right here on Earth. Then, we combined these two concepts in a thought experiment. What would happen if a nuclear bomb was detonated in the Mariana Trench? We've speculated on a range of possible outcomes from massive tsunamis and radioactive water contamination to potential disruption of marine life and even global climate change. All these possibilities underscore the immense power of nuclear weapons and the delicate balance that exists in our world's ecosystems. However, it's vital to emphasize that this is a scenario we would never want to see happen in reality. The destruction and loss of life would be unimaginable, and the long-term effects on our planet could be catastrophic. This hypothetical situation serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of responsible nuclear use and safety. Nuclear energy, when used responsibly, can be a powerful tool for progress. It can provide electricity for millions of homes and can be a stepping stone towards a cleaner, more sustainable future. But the potential for misuse is also great, and the consequences can be devastating. At the same time, our exploration of the Mariana Trench highlights the need for ocean conservation. Our oceans are a vital part of our planet's ecosystem, a source of food and livelihood for millions of people, and a home to a diverse array of wildlife. Yet they are under threat from pollution, overfishing, and climate change. It's our responsibility to protect these precious resources for future generations. In conclusion, this hypothetical scenario serves as a stark reminder of our responsibility to our planet and to each other. It's a call to action for all of us to take steps towards responsible nuclear use and ocean conservation. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand about our world, the better equipped we are to protect it. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into a fascinating scientific question.